Hi, and welcome to another video of the Target Individual Program, Target Individual Experience. So it is uh, 10.36, what a day it has been. Uh, heavy duty microwave and the noise campaign has been on a whole nother level because they are trying to get me to leave. And then, uh, then um, Pam went to do some groceries. Uh, then she calls me and she was like, hey, um, uh, uh, do you want to stay? <clears throat> you know, uh, are you going to stay? What have you? So I was like, you know what? I said, okay, fine. Uh, I will stay because the kids, uh, tomorrow's Juneteenth. The kids are out of school. And, uh, you know, I said to myself, I was going to make some fish cake. But of course, they always have a plan to try to delay, make things, uh, me do things late. Again, it's all part of their, their program, their manipulation. And getting her to severely target me. So I started to uh, again engage my defense mechanisms, and then she leaves and go into her bedroom. She stays there. Then again, using the police sirens, she'll come out whenever the police siren goes off, and then uh, start talking to me, talking to me, right? And again, I have to revert back to my defense mechanism. And then they try to do things to manipulate, to try to nullify the fight or flight phenomenon. Then, <clears throat> when it suits them, they will do things to try to. Uh, ex try to do things so I can exhibit the, uh, particularly the flight uh, phenomenon, right? Give you guys an example. Like yesterday we came in the house, she was like, um, we just, as we, as we reached the door, she says, um, are, you, uh, um, are you going home now? So I'm like, okay, why, is, why are you asking me that? You know, it's Ethan graduation. Of course, I want to stay until he comes home, you know, to ask him about his, his um, not graduation, his prom, right? So again, as soon as it's prime, you guys you hear the the, um, the 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 car honking, All right? Like I said, uh, one thing I know is that my kids were brainwashed within the school system, right? The school system that has these religious fanatics teaching our children, trying to push religion back into the classroom. Okay, so uh, I hope people understand that. Right? They've been manipulating our children within the school, brainwashing them even more, right? And they do it in an, un, in an unofficial uh, way, okay? See, if you're not religious or if you're another religion and you you hear your kids talking about Jesus or what have you, or if, if you're not religious and you hear kids talking about, it, oh, uh, thank God or what have you, you know where that's coming from, okay? So anyhow, so like I said, all day today, they've been targeting me. First, they wanted me to go, then they want me to stay. But, you know, like I said, uh, you know, uh, ultimately, I said, you know what? Uh, I'm going to stay. I'll leave tomorrow. And also, I was supposed to receive a package uh, today, which never came, right? So they rescheduled it for Friday. Not Friday, I'm sorry, Tuesday, right? So after they tell me that the package was on its way to be delivered, all of a sudden, uh, and this happened after, um, you know, this happened right before Pam called me. I went to, to see, oh, uh, you know, making the, the simulated gunshot sound. I understand what it is that they're doing. Okay? Again, I understand their program very well and how they try to manipulate you. They're all the tough water accountability. And particularly using silent sound. Uh, I'll give you an example. Yesterday I was on my computer early during the day. Either yesterday or, um, yeah, I guess it was Friday or uh, Thursday night. You know? And so I, I was saying something about um, uh, the USB port, right? But when I said uh, USB, after I said USB, uh, in my mind said, uh, you save Bryce. And I'm like, what do you, you know, like, where the hell did that come from? Where did that come from, right? But again, uh, what they do, okay, is because, again, trying to... Uh, manipulate my kids but I already tell my kids already the deal so maybe they try to entrap him uh, manipulate him in some way and it isn't working so you know like I said just making people aware of what's going on instead of not seeing anything well, and uh, getting them to uh, getting particularly young people young black people in particular right to engage in in behaviors that is detrimental because they're conditioned that way they can't see the condition because their parents can't see the condition right so those of us who are woke and not the, the definition of these so-called liberal and 
and and um, white Republicans and white liberals want to define woke as, right? Because we know as black people, the word what it really meant uh, and meant, right? And white people, whether they're liberals or conservatives, have always tried to co-opt our sayings, right? <clears throat> to take away the power and redefine it, so they can demonize it or they can uh, uh, put it against the other political party, all right? So we know what war means. For us, it is a term that we created, black people. And as with everything that black people created, white people will try and steal it and have stole a lot of the things that we've created, okay? So woke is not some ideology of believing in homosexuality or all that stuff. That's not woke, that's, just, that's, that's acceptance, right? Woke is, but particularly with black people, meaning that we know our true history, we understand the white uh, uh, racist system, right? We understand the intricacy of white racism, okay? We understand how they pit us against each other, and we try to do the opposite of what it is that they want us to do, how they've negatively conditioned us. Because when we start to realize and understand what's being done and we start to change our behavior, they don't want you to change the behavior, your programming, right? They don't want you to change your mind to a more positive way. And I mean positive way, not the bullshit positivity that they want to feed us today. Not you hear these nigger prints talking about positive this and positive that because their positivity hangs on feeling, which is based off of lies. So when you tell them the truth, they'll try to tell you that you're being negative. No, it's the truth. And they don't want to hear it. Okay, so they I want positive people around me. You want people to lie to you. And the, people, the person that lies to you is not a positive influence in your life. It's the people that tell you the truth. Okay? No matter how uncomfortable it is. Do not fall for that. Like I said. What they're doing, just like with Juneteenth, how they're trying to redefine Juneteenth as an inclusive uh, 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 holiday. Juneteenth is to celebrate the enslaved black people in America being set free. That is what Juneteenth means. It, it doesn't mean you celebrate the, the, the Chinese or the Mexicans or whoever else or white people, whoever else. Juneteenth is a specific holiday to be reserved for and celebrated for and by, well, for black people, but all people can celebrate into, uh, into the holiday. Okay? We're not going to allow you guys to change the meaning of what we created and what we define. We as a people have to stop letting them do this. We need to take back the word woke. And I'm going to tell you this. As a black person, I know the first black person that I have, have, have studied and understand to be woke. Well, not the first, but even in, in the days of uh, enslaved people. Okay? So you talk about Harriet Tubman. You talk about uh, um, Nat Turner. Okay? The countless other... Uh, black men and women who fought against the enslaved, uh, the, uh, the their oppressors and their enslavers. Okay, we're talking about the brave men and women who, during the ten years of Reconstruction, run for political office. We're talking about the people who built uh, Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Rosewood. These were woke people talking about Marcus Garvey, who in the 1920s was telling black people in America that you are the original people, that you are the race that created the high science, philosophy, agriculture. This is, what they, this is one of the reasons why they wanted to get rid of Garvey and how the FBI and other uh, government agencies used these so-called elite blacks, right, to manipulate, to... Uh, uh, engage in covert warfare against Marcus Garvey because of the following that he had. Okay? Talk about Arthur Schomburg, right? And countless others. Okay? W.E.B. Du Bois. Though I may disagree with some of the, his ideas and stuff like that, but again, he was woke. This is what woke means. Right? Not what they def try to redefine work as, as it is today. That's not work. That's a program that is meant to destroy your mindset, to destroy your sexual identity, to confuse you, okay, and to put us pit us against each other. Okay? So it's not work, it's a program mindset. 
That's what that is. Okay. So whether they what is the is the is the is the liberals on the on the left, conservative on the right, as a black person, they're the same two side they are two sides of the same coin. Okay? And their ultimate goal is to uphold the system of white racism and white privilege. Okay? So as Dr. Claude Anderson says, we as black people need to unite and form a different political party. And we need to shop our vote around as a, uh, a bargaining tool to get what we ask for. Okay? This is what we need to do. But don't think that the liberals and the, and the Republicans have not, do not understand this. This is why you see the large influx of uh, um, illegal immigrants from Mexico. But then they turn away the immigrants from uh, Haiti, from Africa, right? You start to see the importation of Europe, particularly uh, uh, the war in, in, in Ukraine, bringing in hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians, just as with the war in Iraq and Afghanistan, bringing in hundreds of thousands of, uh, uh, of um, Afghans and Iraqi people. It is to, as Dr. Claude Anderson said, and you know, for those who watch my videos that are not uh, a TI, even if you are a TI, go and look at Dr. Claude Anderson's videos. This is one of our Christ. Not the C H R R I S T, but the K R S T. Right? These are our Christ who have been trying to teach us and they have manipulated us to turn our backs on them. And look, we're still at the bottom. Had we listened, but again, I don't blame us as a people because I understand this system, the weapons they've created to control our minds, the psychological ma manipulation, the propaganda, the poison of our food, of our minds, of our bodies, right? To keep the vast majority of, of us intellectually dumb, confused. And this is why, like I said, they continue to try to uh, manipulate things, to try to silence me. But that's not going to happen, like I said. Because what I do, like I said, I study, I observe, and I come back better, ready for the next round. Like I said, and, and, and I've always said this to TIs, don't think that I, me as a person who's fighting back, at, at times I'm not afraid. But fear is a natural instinct in our lives. It's what keeps us alive. It's what helps to protect us also. But fear can also turn to anger. As the Jedi Master Yoda says. And that anger, that, that fear can turn into pain and that pain can turn into anger. So these white races, they are creating the Christ within us, the K-R-I-S-T within us. They are the ones who are awakening our ancestors by the continued oppression of how of what we face as black people. Okay? So, as with any society where you have oppressed people, you will always find those with, amongst the poor who are going to wise up, who are going to become leaders. And the FBI have done a, a, a damn good job of eliminating young black leaders who are up and coming or have the potential. But yet, the vast people in our community are holding on to this bullshit religion. These, I should say, these bullshit religions. Because the vast majority of people who believe in these religions don't use it for good. They use it to either satisfy their narcissism, their control over people, and the followers use it to not deal with their reality, not deal with the truth. This is what they do, and they continue to do that. Continue to psychologically damage us in many ways. Okay, so that being said, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.